Hi everyone, and welcome to Huawei Datacom MWC Online. Today I've come to the Cloud One exhibition booth, and with me today is the Senior Product Marketing Manager, Dylan Swin. Hi Dylan. Hi Sam. So, what products and solutions would you like to share with the audience today? Okay, today I'd like to introduce to you Huawei Cloud One Intelligent Solution and the new NetEngine 8000 uh, products. Okay, and which one are you going to get started on first? Okay, first let's see the Cloud One solution. Okay. Okay, we can see that here is a WAN network, wide area network, and users, platforms are distributed in different locations. And we know that in the, before the cloud era, the traditional networks only focus on ensuring connectivity, yeah. right? But now in the 5G and the cloud era, uh, the, we believe that the enterprise cloudification has become a trend. Right. Yeah, right. And we believe that the enterprise services has uh, experienced the era of network interconnections to data centralization, and then uh, now the services are evolving towards the era of uh, distributed data centers. So, in summary, we can see that the network is evolving from one centric to now DC centric and future to the DCI centric. Okay, and, and during this evolution, are there any specific challenges that the networks are facing? Yeah, there must be some challenges. So here we list three common challenges. The first one we can see on the left side, it is slow service rollout. According to the statistic, the average rollout duration of personal loan service in the financial industry is three to five months. Mm. And if we only see the network provisioning time, it will take more than 30 days. Okay. And, and the, the reason why it takes so long is um, the com complex network architecture and the cross-domain management, okay? Let's see the second one, is high expansion cost. Look at this figure, we can see that as traffic grows, the rental cost of private lines increases also, yeah. year by year. An important reason of it is uh, the traffic is not load, load balanced evenly in traditional networks, and the network bandwidth cannot be fully utilized. Yeah. So how to improve the network utilization becomes a big problem for reducing the OPEX. Okay. Okay. And third, let's check the uh, challenges uh, troubleshooting. So also according to the statistic, uh, a network failure would cause a loss of 30 million Chinese yuan if it lasts for eight hours. And the loss will be 72 million Chinese yuan if it lasts for 24 hours. So the impact of fault on the network is very huge. Right. And however, uh, the, the services are not visualized in traditional networks. So the networks are like black boxes. And the manual CLI based fault locating usually takes more than eight hours. Okay. Right. So with the network scale increases, it might, might become longer and become more difficult. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we've, we've spoken about these challenges now. Well, how can they be overcome? Okay, to address these challenges, Huawei launches the Cloud One intelligent intent driven solution with the new product NetEngine 8000. So let's check them one by one. Okay. First, to solve the problem of slow rollout, Huawei proposes the industry's number one SRV6 technology. It supports seamless cross domain deployment, support one hop connection to cloud, and please know that it only requires ingress and egress nodes to support SRV6. Okay. So it's very easy to use, and the service provisioning with SRV6 can only take one day. Wow, okay. The second, to solve the problem of high expansion cost, Huawei proposed SDN network optimization solution. So it supports real-time real path optimization, so the network bandwidth utilization can be improved more than 20%. Mm. So in this way, enterprises can make full use of the investment, so also can reduce the OPEX. Right. Uh, the last, to solve the problem of troubleshooting, Huawei pr proposes the industry's unique measurement solution, IFIT. IFIT provides high precision and in-band service flow measurement. It measures real services and carries measurement information into packets. And the, uh, the statistic about packets are uh, collected and delivered from routers to the network cloud engine through telemetry in real time. Okay. So the fault locating with IFIT can take only in minute level. Right. So uh, with these solutions, the enterprises can build an intelligent, 
simplified and highly available network. Okay, so I mean, you just explained how the solution can solve some of these problems faced by networks. Could you tell a bit more about the product NetEngine 8000? Let me introduce the new product family, NetEngine 8000. Okay. NetEngine 8000 is, a, is an intelligent router family. It comprises full service routers in all scenarios, and they are designed for the 5G and cloud era. Okay. Okay, here there are three series of it. They are F series, M series, and X series. Okay, and what does the F, M, and X mean? Okay, so here F is, uh, means fixed. Okay. M means modular, and X means they are the super chassis routers. Okay, okay. And let me introduce one by one. Right. The first one is F series. We can see that the routers in F series are small size bo boxes. Yeah. They are so compact, so we can also call them pizza boxes. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. And they are the industry's highest density 100G access routers. They can be used as edge nodes and even can be used as DC gateway okay. of uh, edge data centers. The next is uh, M series. It means modular. Why it means modular? It means uh, it is industry's only all scenario routers. Mm. It can support nearly all kinds of interfaces from PCM to Ethernet. Right. And it can be deployed as various kind of network elements, including BNG, aggregation nodes, edge nodes, and even DC gateway. Okay. Okay. And the, th the third one is X series. And as I said, X means they are super chassis routers, and they are the industry's largest capacity routers. And we can see that the maximum number of 400G can reach 30 Six. Wow, okay. Yeah, so it can provide line cars with uh, bandwidth capacity 14.4 T. Yeah, okay. Right. So with all this series of NetEngine 8000, we can build an all-in-one network. Okay, so what exactly is an all-in-one network? Good question. All-in-one network means one network can carry all kinds of services. Okay, okay. Including private line, uh, broadband, mobile services, and the new cloud services. Right. And we believe that such kind of network should have two main features. The first one is intelligence. So how to build an intelligence network? First, it should support 100% guaranteed bandwidth, and it can be done by Flexible E. And second, it should support FastDM and pass optimization. Right. It can be supported by uh, SRI6. And then it should support IFIT for maintenance level fault locating. Okay. okay. Then, the second one is green design, because as the bandwidth capacity of line cards and boxes increases, so the power consumption and heat dissipation would become problems. Okay. So an intelligent router have to consider how to save power and how to face these problems. Okay. So you've just mentioned the green design. So right. How exactly is that achieved? Okay. So next, let me introduce some cutting edge technologies to for green design. Okay. The first technology is board level cable. And here is a line card of NetEngine 8000. And we can see that it's port 400G ports. Each cable is all metal shielding to reduce crosstalk and it can reduce the conductor loss by 70%. It uses the industry highest service so that it can provide line cars with 14.4T capacity with the density of 36. 400G. Okay, the second one is magnetic blowout. Here is a power module of NetEngine 8000. And let's take a closer look. We can see that the magnetic field can prevent the generation of sparks. In this way, a standby module can protect multiple active modules, which is called end to one protection. It can re replace the traditional one end-to-end -end protection. So it can save power space by 45% and can improve power supply efficiency per unit by 90%. The third one is cheap heat dissipation. So let's look inside. We can see that on the top of CPU, there's carbon nanotube and VC phase change. The carbon nanotube is used for heat conduction, and VC phase change can remove heat through gas liquid. According to statistic, 
it can reduce chip temperature by 19 degrees. The last one is mixed flow fan. This is a mixed flow fan with aviation grade technology. The wind volume is three times that of a common fan. With the design of mute deflector ring, the noise is less than that of a common fan, and it can save much power. For green design, NetEngine 8000 supports multiple cutting edge technologies, including here board level cable, magnetic blowout, heat dissipation, and mixed flow fan. Yeah. So with all these technologies, Network Engine 8000 won Best of Show Award at Interop Tokyo and also won Innovation Leadership Award of Frost and Sullivan in 2019. Okay. So nowadays, NetEngine 8000 has already been used and deployed in uh, some live network, and we believe that it can be deployed in more and more network to help enterprises to build a simplified, intelligent, and highly available network. Okay, Sam, after listening, have you understood about our new product family, NetEngine 8000? Yeah, I mean, you've explained very well, and I think I've got it, but let me just see if I'm right. Okay. So the things that come to mind are the, the three series, mm -hmm. uh, the all-in-one network, and then finally, the two main capabilities, intelligence and green. Exactly. Okay. Well, thanks a lot for sharing your insights today, Dylan. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. And if you'd like to know more information, please visit our official website, or you can visit a local Huawei sales office. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.